Bull Racing. Ferrari goes 1-2 as Carlos Sainz takes out the Australian Grand Prix. Local hope Oscar Piastri just missing out on a podium finish. Princess Kate's first message to the public since revealing her cancer diagnosis. Four gunmen arrested as the death toll from the Moscow terror attack climbs past 130. Two men stabbed, a third under police guard in hospital after a house party spirals out of control. And the junior police officer who risked her life to save a woman from drowning. This is 10 News First with Chris Barr. All the action from the F1 in a moment, but first, the Prince and Princess of Wales say they're enormously touched by the public outpouring of support. We should have start with, so this is just a little bonus for her. Sarah Naven for 10 News First. Still to come, a woman attacked by a gang of machete-wielding men inside her home. Plus, has Australia's last remaining Liberal government held on after a watershed election? Hundreds rally in the streets demanding reforms to improve protection for the victims of stalkers. And the new walkway for bushwalkers in one of Australia's most picturesque parks. Tonight. A woman's recovering in hospital after she was allegedly attacked by a machete-wielding man inside her Adelaide home. Hello again. It is time for one last check on the weather. So on the satellite, as you've heard, we do have this big patch of cloud which is connected to a trough. But Chris, aside from Brisbane, it's looking pretty good for the major cities this week. Thanks, Paris. And that is 10 News First this Sunday. I'm Chris Barr. Thanks for your company. Stand by now for The Project. I'll see you next weekend. Have a great night.